let's derive a reduction formula for the integral of the powers of secant of x with respect to x. Now this reduction formula will be of most use when we're dealing with the odd powers of secant of x. Integrals of even powers of secant x are relatively straightforward compared to odd powers, but you can use these for even powers as well. So let's go ahead and call this the integral i sub n, n for the nth power. Now this integrand here, secant to the power of n, let's take a sec squared out of it. So let's rewrite this as secant to the power of n minus 2 power by sec squared. And then the integral is simply then the integral of two parts. So we have the n minus 2 power part and the sec squared part. So we'll let u equal sec to the n minus 2 power and we let dv equal sec squared x. Alright, so we're going to use integration by parts. So the next step is to take the derivative of this u term. So if we take the derivative of u with respect to x, the power comes down. So we have n minus 2 by the sec of, we decrease the power by 1. So so if we minus 1 power from this, we get n minus 3. And then we follow the chain rule. So we take the derivative of sec x. So that will be equal to sec x tan of x. All right, so let's rewrite this. n minus 2. This sec to the power of n minus 3, then times sec x. Well, we're adding another power to it. So it goes back to being sec to the n minus 2 power and then by tan x. All right, so let me create a little division here. Now this dv term, let's integrate this with respect to x. So if we integrate dv with respect to x, we get v is equal to tan x. So tan x derives to sec squared x, and the inverse of that is that sec squared x integrates to tan x. All right, the formula for integration by parts goes like this. So we write i n, is equal to u times v minus the integral of v du. So we have u times v secant to the power of n minus 2 of x by tan x minus the integral of tan x v du by n minus 2 by sec to the power of n minus 2 of x by tan x dx. All right, so that's quite a mouthful. Well, now let's just deal with this integrand for a moment. The n minus 2 can come out the front. Tan x by tan x equals tan squared of x. So that gets rid of those. And we copy down the rest. Now, tan squared x we can write as sec squared x minus 1. So that's just a well-known trigonometric identity. So if we copy down the rest, and then we can expand this sec to the power of n minus 2 term into the parentheses. So we have sec squared x by sec to the n minus 2 power of x minus sec to the n minus 2 power of x, and we copy down the rest. Let's choose yet another color. Now sec squared and sec to the n minus 2 power, we can recombine this. So just adding the powers, so just adding the powers, we'll have sec to the nth power again. We copy down the integral, and then n minus 2 minus sec to the n minus 2 power of x dx. All right, now we have the integral of two separate entities. So we can separate the integrals. So we've got the integral of the first part minus n minus 2 by the integral of the second part. This first part here is the original integral. So we write this as i n again. So we have n minus 2 by i n minus 
n minus 2. Let's call this integral i sub n minus 2, the integral of the nth power minus 2. And now we can just copy down the terms at the beginning of the equation secant to the n minus 2 power of x by tan x minus, now this minus applies to the whole integral, so it's minus the term in the brackets. So if we expand this minus into the brackets, we get minus n minus 2 by i n plus n minus 2 by i sub n minus 2. And on the left-hand side of the equation, we had i n as well. So i n is equal to all of that. All right, now let's take this i n, this n minus 2 by i n, over to the other side of the equation. So this will mean then that i n plus n minus 2 i sub n is equal to sec to the n minus 2 power of x by tan x plus n minus 2 by i sub n minus 2. And with this left-hand side of the equation, I can just simplify it to n minus 1 times i n. Okay, let me change color again. So if I divide both sides now by n minus 1, I isolate i n on the left-hand side. We have sec to the n minus 2 power by tan x divided by n minus 1 plus n minus 2 over n minus 1 by i of n minus 2. And of course i sub n was equal to the integral of secant of the nth power with respect to x and i sub n minus 2 is the integral of secant to the n minus 2 power of x with respect to x. So thus we have derived the reduction formula for the integral of powers of secant of x. Now let's do an example. Let's integrate sec to the fifth power of x with respect to x. So with the reduction formula, we have n equals 5. So if we just plug in n equals 5, we get sec to the 5 minus 2 by tan x on 5 minus 1 plus 5 minus 2 on 5 minus 1 by the integral of sec 5 minus 2 of x dx. So that then simplifies to sec cubed x by tan x on 4 plus 5 minus 2 is 3 over 5 minus 1 is 4 of sec cubed of x. Now in a previous video, we found that sec cubed x, well we can use the reduction formula again, but in a previous video, we already derived this result, so I will include a link to that video here. But the result is equal to a half of sec x tan x plus a half times the log of sec x plus tan x. Alright, so if we substitute this for the integral of sec cubed x, the entire result is the integral of sec to the fifth power of x is equal to sec cubed x by tan x over 4 plus 3 quarters of a half times sec x tan x plus a half times the log of sec x plus tan x and of course plus an integration constant c. Okay, it's a long cumbersome expression so if we simplify it further by expanding the three quarters into the brackets we'll have three eighths sec x tan x plus three-eighths of the log of sec x plus tan x plus c. Alright, so that's just for the fifth power of secant x. 
You can imagine what will happen if we keep on increasing the odd power. The result will get very long indeed. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have found it useful, please like it, share it, and subscribe to my channel. And these videos do take me a lot of effort to produce, so I would really appreciate any small donation that you can give me through my PayPal. And this way I can use the funds to gather resources to make better videos for math students of the world. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.